Hey everyone, Doug from Convology. In this tutorial, I want to take a quick look at something called restrict access pages or restricted access pages or error pages. I, I call them error pages all the time. They're essentially the pages that somebody sees when they don't have access to your course or to whatever you have inside of Thrive Apprentice. So we're going to look at two different kinds of pages. One is the page they see if they are not logged in, right? This is the page they're going to see if we don't know if they're a customer and own your course or not. And the other one is if they are logged in and they don't have access to your course. In that case, we know who they are. We know they have not purchased the course and they're not a customer. So let's dive in and take a look at these two options and what we can do with it and some of my recommendations. Okay, so you'll want to jump into your course in Thrive Apprentice and you'll want to go to the Access Restrictions tab here. And we're looking for the settings right under the Restrict Access toggle. These are basically what I said before, if a guest tries to access the course without being logged in, or if a user tries to access this course without having access at all. So if you click the little edit icon, and I have mine set to display custom content, but if you click the edit icon, we get this little window here that has some options of what's going to happen if that particular user tries to access the content. So we have a couple of options when we use this dropdown. We can use default site behavior, which is essentially a default option you can set in the settings of Thrive Apprentice. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend customizing this for each of your courses. The other option we have is display a message. It's just like a little simple text message that displays and they have a, a little note here that says it's deprecated. And that means this is no longer a supported method and no longer a way that they recommend doing it. So we're not going to use it. They only left it here because a lot of people used Thrive Apprentice prior to this update and that's what they still have. So they left it in for now, but migrate away from that if you're still using the deprecated version. The next one is display custom content. This is essentially content that appears within the Thrive Apprentice framework. So there's the section at the top, the sidebar, and the main content piece. This display custom content fits right within your, uh, essentially your course, right? It's essentially the same thing a student would see, but instead of the content, it shows whatever we want it to show. The second to la last option here says redirect to login and registration page. Uh, this can be a good option in some cases, and I'm, I'm not going to rule it out entirely, but I sometimes don't think it's a great experience to just always send somebody to a login and registration page without any other context. So we're going to technically give them the option to go log in, but we're not going to just shoot them over there without any other kind of message. And the last option is redirect to a custom page. I think this is actually one of the better options, but we're going to display custom content um, we'll also take a look at redirecting, but essentially we're going to do the same thing. We're going to custom craft something that they'll see as an error message or a prompt for them to go take the next step, whether that be to log in or buy our course. So let's go ahead and just start off with display custom content. So with display custom content chosen, we can click over here. Well, a couple settings first, page title settings. So we can display the original title, a custom title or hide title. Um, it's essentially, I just leave it display original title. I really don't think that matters too much. Um, hiding title is fine as well. Uh, I'm just gonna leave display original title checked. That's what I do. And then I'm going to click edit with Thrive Architect so we can take a look at what I've done for the display custom content. Now in this particular situation, this is the error page or the access restricted page for my course Thrive Apprentice to Master. And if someone tries to access this course, again, if I jump back here, this is what we're looking at if they try to access the course and it's only for logged in users, so they're not logged in. So this message, I'm going to give them two options. I'm going to say it's only for students who are enrolled in the course and you can enroll in the course today. And if they click on this button, it's going to take them to my sales page. Or are you already enrolled? Because again, I don't know who they are. They're not logged in. If you're already enrolled and maybe you forgot to log in, I want to give you that option to click this button and go log in. You see how this would have been confusing for someone if they were just redirected to a login page or redirected to a sales page? I would have had to have guessed that they either had purchased the course or not. This option I think is better. And again, this content's going to appear right within my Thrive Apprentice framework. So this is just a nice little message that comes up and says, I have no idea who the heck you are. You either have to buy the course or log in. So I like this option. Uh, you can do anything you want to this page. Using Thrive Architect here, we can expand our element tray. 
We could add a video. We could really personalize this. We could add text, anything we want. I've kept it simple and put the logo of my course, a little message and two buttons. Now let's close this and jump back and look at what the other option would have been, which is to redirect to a custom page. If we choose that option, it's going to ask us to search for a page. We can search our existing pages we've created. Perhaps we've already created the exact experience we want somebody to see, or we could create a new page entirely. I think either way is totally fine. Um, and this might be something I do in the future with other courses, but I kind of like the idea of them seeing that message within that lesson they were trying to access or within that framework. It just keeps it feeling cohesive to me. So for now, we are going to stay you with know, display custom content. And again, just a real quick show you, if you had chosen to redirect to a login page, if you had just made the assumption, it would basically ask which of the uh, default states you would want on that login form, login or register. I think this is very, uh, very specific, a specific use case. So if you're going to go this option, make sure you know what you're doing with login and register and you have all of that automatically set up. And they do have a nice option here. They have the ability to redirect the user to the content automatically after they log in, which is a nice touch. Okay, so that's if they're not logged in and we have no idea who they are. Now, here's where things get, I think, a little bit more free for you. We have a couple more options. So if we click edit here, we can display custom content again. Again, it's the exact same list of options. We can display custom content or redirect them to a page. Now here's where I would say it's probably more acceptable than the other way to redirect them automatically to a sales page. So in this case, we know who they are. We know they're logged in. We know they haven't purchased our content. So if they try to access redirecting them to a sales page immediately, it's not a bad thing, right? Um, however, I choose to still display custom content and let's take a look at what I use. On this particular course, I've kept things pretty simple. I actually, this is the default icon. I basically have a little icon here and I just said, you're not enrolled in this course. Click here to enroll today. But like I said, I could have come in here and I could add an image and I could look for my Thrive Apprentice to Master course logo and I could delete that icon. And then I could just say something like, this course is only available for registered students, something like that. Click here, click here to enroll today. And that button links them over to my course sales page. I think personally, I think this is a better experience. We're not just shooting them over and having them be like, wait, what happened? We're sending them over to the sales page after we've told them, hey, looks like you don't own this course. So you could also, I have seen this in a few uh, few setups, you could down here say, have any questions, email me. And then you could like hyperlink this to your email. Let's center that and probably capitalize that. But you could say, email me, you could put your email here, you could put a way for them to get in contact. Maybe there was an error, maybe they actually did buy the course or they thought they did and you could offer some customer service. So that option is available to you as well. So that's it for the access restriction or restricted access or error pages in Thrive Apprentice. It's a fairly new feature, something that I have rolled out to all of my courses and something that I feel like really helps people get to where they need to be uh, efficiently and in a way that makes sense to them that's not jarring or confusing. So if you haven't taken the time to set up your error pages, I would recommend jump in. You saw how easy it was. It will take you five minutes or less to make it happen. And I think not only will you provide a better student or user experience, but I actually think in some cases your conversion rates or the number of courses you sell will go up as a result. So that's gonna do it for me in this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about setting up your course error pages or anything related to Thrive Apprentice for that matter, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or visit convology.com and I'd be happy to help you.